it is said that 6 out of 10 narcissists kill themselves. I did not find this to be an over-exaggeration. I think this is very accurate. Here's why. They usually set themselves up for in dangerous situations to get attention from other people. They might slice their wrist a little bit and then show off going, Look, look, I'm in so much emotional trouble that I slit my wrist. But then they slice it too far, they start gushing blood everywhere, and they end up do dying. You know, the narcissist tries to protect its own life by throwing other people underneath the bus and doing everything to protect itself. But when it comes to seeking attention, they'll do drastic things. They'll burn themselves, they'll uh, cut themselves, they'll do anything to get the attention that they need, this constant, and this constant need and craving for attention. It's as bad as a vampire's craving for blood when he's really thirsty. Because I really do believe also that the vampire is very closely related to the narcissist in every single form. Including the turning into a bat and fluttering away after they have no more use for their victim. Anyways, with that said, I wanted to talk today about the Illuminati. The Illuminati is a group filled with narcissists. And it has been said that the Illuminati writ wrote the Bible and then now they're trying to make all their prophecies come true. Well, the best way to tell a lie is to add a little bit of truth to the lie, right? So it seem more believable. They did not write the Bible, but yes, they are trying to make biblical events come to pass. They have been using countries, militaries, for generations now to fulfill their own agenda. You see, they believe in the Bible. They believe that they are the evil ones the Bible speaks of, and they are trying to fulfill the evil sides of it. So me as a Christian, I have to wonder, you know, are we really living in the end times, or is this a, just some madman scheme to make us all believe that we are in the end times? I wouldn't really believe it until I've gone through my own biblical prophecy list and noticed a lot of things on my list have happened, have come to pass, but some of the big ones are still missing, such as the two witnesses, the Ark of the Covenant being found, the city of Damascus being totally destroyed. There are things that have to happen before Jesus returns. Another one is that the Sea of Galilee will start drying up. Now here comes the funky thing. Many of these things have happened. Even the Sea of Galilee is drying up right now. And there's some things that humans cannot control. I mean, they can cause war anywhere. But when the four blood moons line up like this, they have been in the last year and a half, the last two years, man, man, man cannot do that. That's biblical. It's, uh, four blood moons in a row, it's, it's very, uh, very biblical. Plus, if you, witnessed, if you witnessed last year with the Jews locking up the Muslims in their own mosque on the Temple Mount, that was pretty biblical because something like that has never happened for the last 4,000 years. There are events happening in this world right now that I do not believe man can control or alter, such as the animals dying by the thousands on the coastline, or the weather, weather patterns changing. There are certain things that are going on right now in this world, such as biblical knowledge increasing as well, which the Bible says would happen also. I'm pretty sure I could list a hundred things that have happened that are biblical in the last 50 years that were prophesied to happen, and they've all happened in the correct order of things to happen. And I just gotta say, you know, if this ball is man-made, and they think they're gonna push God into making the last days come about, they might just do it. They might just, you know, slit their wrist for attention again and then end up getting the attention they don't want and then end up dying because they slit their wrist too far. The world is pushing towards the end of times, towards the book of Revelations. In many ways, man. And I'm talking about so many aspects. It cannot just possibly be from one group of people. It's too many aspects. For one thing, the Illuminati does not control Islam. It controls ISIS, but not Islam. But even things that are happening in the Islamic world today is fulfilling biblical prophecy. It's quite weird and bizarre, man. I mean, on the one hand, I want to completely believe that we are in the end of days. 
On the other hand, I have to still wonder if this is not this man-made scheme to make us believe that, so that way we will surrender and give up all of our serenity. Or is it really legit? And I have to start leaning more to the really legit part simply for the supernatural things that have been happening, such as the blood moons, as all the animals dying. But also, the way that Russia and America are going off against each other right now, as well as Monsanto with the GMO, it's just so many things. I mean, it take R.C. Christian, for example, with the Georgia Guidestones, man. That stuff is coming to pass right now. And whether it is man-made or it is supernatural, it's still occurring. And it is occurring according to the Bible. That's just for you. I wanted to put that all out for you guys to think about. And if you'd like to know about some of these prophecies that have happened that have me a little bit worried for, whoa, this really could be legit, I'll be making more videos about them. So, this is Wardone Squire. You all have a good day.